Coach Chevalier, the head girls soccer coach here at Chisholm Trail. Okay, how long have you been coaching? Um, I've been coaching, this is my sixth year total. This is my fourth year at Chisholm Trail. Okay, and introduce your athletes to us. Yeah, sure. So I have um, three of our seniors, and they were each captains this year as well. Um, I have Amanda Mouton right here, um, Mia Hernandez, and Adrian Guzman down at the end. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Thanks for joining us. Amanda, senior captain, talk a little bit about your season. Um, I think we had a good season. Um, we improved a lot, and a lot of the girls improved individually, and um, we kept improving the season and uh, made progress. Okay, and Mia, what yeah. were some of your highlights? I saw a lot of improvement with the whole team, like just how from since we we're here from the very beginning, and just like from now, like it's just like winnings have changed, um, just like the connection with everyone's changed, and it, like made a really big improvement. Okay, Adrian. Uh, this season, I think out of all of the seasons I've been here, we really came together this season. Like we we're a really close team, and it kind of helped us during the season. So, okay. you want to talk a little bit about your athletes? Maybe some of the key players and key leaders on the team? Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, we just announced some district honors. Um, Amanda actually got one of those. She she was uh, uh, honored to a district team this year. Um, she. Did a great job playing in the midfield and in the back for us um, defensively. Um, you know, she kept things pretty solid for us when we needed to in the back line. Uh, and helped us kind of fill in some other holes as needed to. Um, uh, definitely a key player that we'll miss next year, uh, that's for sure. Um, Mia um, did a great job this year. She plays up top um, and uh, scored. Uh, the most goals again this year for the fourth year in a row. Um, and so nice. again, that's going to be another one that's going to be um, missed next year for sure. So that'll be a big hole to fill. And then, then we have Adrian, who um, is an uh, uh, excellent player, and she's a key key player for us this year. Though she mm -hmm. got injured pretty early on, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. I didn't make Bummer. It to yeah. So so we missed her this season. Um, it definitely definitely made a difference not having her out there. Um, but yeah, these three. Ladies um, played a really big role. I mean, we have several others. We had a great senior class this year. We have um, eight total, and um, and all all of them played a really big role. And we're going to miss several of them in a pretty big way, um, especially in the back. We have some really great defenders that um, are going to be graduating, but there's a few that are ready to step up, I think, and kind of fill those shoes. So okay. um, that'll be something we focus on in the off season a little bit. Okay. Speaking of graduation, it's right around the corner. Everyone going to college? Yes, Amanda, where do you plan to attend? Um, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to play soccer at. I'm okay. continuing playing. Um, I have a couple of different options, but I'm going to make a decision soon. Do you know what you would like to major in? Uh, nursing. Okay, and Mia? I, as well, I'm going to uh, major in nursing. I'm going to go to Tarleton. Okay, Adrian? Uh, I'm going to TCC for my basics, and then I'm going to hopefully transfer to UTA to major in kinesiology. Okay, now you guys have high expectations and nursing and kinesiology, that's awesome. How do you feel that athletics has helped prepare you for that next phase in your life? Amanda, do you want to start? Um, it's helped me uh, learn uh, priorities, um, when to know when to the goof around or like when to do homework. It's uh, taught me to work with people well and um, take uh, criticism well as well mm -hmm. uh, and learn from it. Okay, me? Yeah, it's learned to, um, like it helped me with like having so much on my plate, like with the soccer and school and all this other stuff going on. So it kind of helped me have that organized and so I can use that later in the future. So, That's important. Yeah. And Adrian? Uh, I think just learning how to communicate with people and, you know, step up and be a leader and take on different roles and try to work it out itself really makes me want to progress more in the future. Okay. Now, since you guys are seniors and you've had Coach Chevalier, is there anything that you guys learn specifically from Coach, his coaching style, or any funny stories you guys want to share? <laughs> I guess, like, um, always stay positive, even, like, in anything where he's always just positive and it's just nice to, like, kind of, like, if we're all stressed and he's just positivity, so it's just kind of, like, Finds the silver yeah. lining. Yes. That's good. And being super patient with mm -hmm. us, especially. <laughs> yeah. Always trying to help us learn, mm -hmm. no matter what. Always trying to make us better players. And that's good. That's good. Now, how long have you guys uh, been playing soccer? I've been playing for <laughs> since third grade. Really? Yeah. Uh, since I was seven. 
Okay. I've been playing since I was four. Oh, my goodness. Do you guys play any other sports? I have. Not yeah. anymore. But, yeah, but soccer is yeah. the main sport. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, so t- talk about next year. Um, you know, they seem like great athletes, great young ladies. Uh, how are you going to fill their shoes next year? Yeah, um, like I said, you know, all three of them will be pretty tough to replace. Um, mm-hmm. And then, yeah, the other seniors we have leaving as well, they're going to be pretty pretty hard to replace as well. Um, so, like I mentioned, this off season, we'll kind of focus on who are we going to plug into those mm-hmm. key positions that we're going to be missing people, especially in the back um, mm-hmm. and up top, actually, right now. Those are the two places we're going to be missing um, key players next year. But, you know, we'll look at that and, and kind of try to find some of those younger JV players that can step in and kind of take on a little bit more of that. And then also, you know, with middle school soccer going on right now, um, I'm excited to see a few of them mm-hmm. up here next year as well. Um, there's a few that show definitely show a lot of potential. So I'm kind of looking forward to getting them up here as well and seeing what we can put together once okay. they're up here. Do you feel, I mean, middle school soccer is fairly new to this district. How do you feel that that's helped the programs for at the um, varsity level? Yeah, um, you know, it's it's definitely helped um, as a whole kind of, kind of raise that soccer IQ and experience a little bit mm-hmm. when those girls enter, you know, enter the program. We've definitely seen that at the uh, lower levels for sure, but mm-hmm. that kind of is a trickle up effect I guess up to the varsity level because it kind of pushes and challenges players above as well because there's just a little bit more competition um, mm-hmm. and just you know a little bit again like I said a little bit higher level um, you know I think it's still growing and expanding um, and we haven't seen the full benefit of it yet but I think in these next few years though hopefully it'll really start to work its way up to the top. All right. can only get better from here right? Yeah. That's okay. Right. Was well, there anything else that you guys would like to add about this year or your high school careers or these young ladies? It flew by so fast. Yeah. 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 It always does. Well, thank you all for joining me. Thank you, Coach. Best of luck to you next year and the best of luck to you guys as you graduate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.